As two cups of those, 250 about. Yeah, it's it's just like oh, the initial startup's really rough. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, I agree. I mean, hey, sometimes you got to make that initial investment to make that money. Odds of Nero going Zelda. 10%. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably put it about yeah. 30. I was about to say yeah. like I was about to say like six. Oh, yeah. oh if you go, okay, if Daybreak goes like a another character, I could see it. But yep, we're gonna see Pikachu Falco, and I think the last yeah. time this went down, the Falco was looking pretty good in the matchup. Yeah, um, I don't think it does that bad, honestly. Like I think it's one of those few matchups that like Falco does pretty all right. Yeah, I mean. That reflector is just so nice to it have is. Pikachu, it is. especially Nero's Pikachu, because he likes to try and sit back. Mm -hmm. But you can try and use that as a tool. On top of that, those lasers are really good at stopping. The what a he just literally uppies the edge cancel off the platform, gets 24%. Like, yeah. Pikachu is crazy. If you can edge cancel it, this character is insane. Yeah, I mean, if you're near an edge, you can almost guarantee yourself that Nero's going to be looking for that ledge. For sure, and we already saw the reflector coming out as well, so. Going to be looking for that, and there yep, it is. Right there. It's such a great tool for keeping that pressure off him because unlike Foxes for this matchup, that actually goes out in front of him, so it's not like he can try and reflect or point blank. It covers a lot of that area yep. that Daybreak needs to cover as well. Yeah, as well as, like, you don't have to be really specific with the timings. Um, and now Daybreak putting on some pressure, getting Nero off the stage. Already has Nero up to 72%. Oh, great oh. Tomahawk. Oh, my. Nero was not expecting that. Oh, he I was wasn't expecting it. Daybreak really wants to get this early kill and just make a statement going into this game because if he can start off strong and just have that mental edge on Nero, that's going to be really big going through the rest of this set. Yeah, especially getting that first stock in a set. That, that is such a mental game in yep. itself. And if Nero, oh my god, he reflected it. Oh my god, this reflector coming in for so much damage this game. Yeah, and his reaction time, too, is really good. Oh! Daybreak assumed Nero was going to go for another fair, possibly an up air, and uh, instead he was just chilling enough smash, but he's wow. like, you smash me, I smash you, man. That Come was a now. great call out. That and was. The fact that that up smash covers so much space around him is such a great anti-quick attack tool. That's the big thing, right? If you if you can time the quick attacks, a lot of times you can punish, and once you start doing yes. that, it really eliminates a lot of Pikachu's game. Yep, and just like that, going for that, platform cancel, but Daybreak ready for that one that time. One thing I'm noticing as well that's really nice for Falco is he can actually grab the pancake animation of Pikachu, which a lot of characters have issues with. Yeah. Oh no, this should be a pretty wow. decent punch. Oh, nothing! The ending animation of that kept him just out of the grab. That was a lot of spaghetti right there. Yep. But yeah, I mean, Daybreak is looking really strong in this game one. I love the F smash though. Nero was forced to regrab, but instead Nero went straight to the stage. And now Nero getting the quick attack though, we're getting some damage. Yeah, this is where Daybreak has to be careful because Pikachu is one of those characters that if he gets you in the air, he can just combo you for days. Okay, gonna actually go off the stage. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that's gonna be a back air, and that's a stock. Hold that on. was great pressure oh. from Daybreak, just jumping up there. Everybody knows that Daybreak loves that back air, so Nero's like, all right, here comes the back air, I gotta air dodge this. But Daybreak was one step ahead of him, and like, you know what, let me come back up and catch you on the rebound. Yeah, that because I think, what was Nero, like 90%, and he went blind. Yeah. Like, there was no living that with any kind of DI. And we're gonna see it one more time for you guys. Yeah. Was he at 90? Oh my god, look at me go. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this was such a great start yeah, off of the Phantasm. Look at that. Dead. Just dead. And this shows you why Daybreak has made top 10 on the PR. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, new PR coming out. I think, what is it's he, It's already 10? Out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's 10th. He's 10th. Moving up from last season, I think he yeah. was 12, 13, something like that. Yeah. yeah so. Right around there. Yeah, he had a good season last season, for sure. He had a lot of good notable wins. He's looking for one early in this season as well, yeah. which would be Nero. Yeah, this would be a really strong start for him. Uh, we are going to go to this uh, treacherous stage. Either go here or Lilat, man, and neither of those are fun. Yeah, and platforms galore for Nero to cancel off him. So this is going to be a playground for him and his uppies. For sure. And now Nero looks like he's making a little bit of adjustments towards that uh, reflector. Yeah, but it looks like this stage might come into play against him in that regards because you see Daybreak trying to stay underneath the platforms. So if he tries to get that set up with the neutral B, he can just throw out the reflector, and Nero has to approach from above at that point if he wants to get in, and that platform is going to make it more difficult for him. Yeah, and the one thing that, oh, wow, the F-Smash is not going to connect, barely off the mark, and both of them getting back to stage just fine, but uh, one of the things as well is, you know, if that, does, that situation does happen, Nero's above him, the up tilts from Daybreak could start a decent uh, combo string that ends with a lot of damage. Yeah, so while... Nero does have a lot of things that he likes on this stage. He has to be aware of the weaknesses that it can give himself. 
good illusion. I think it's actually I think the difference Fox is called illusion and then Velcos is phantasm. Is that correct? Oh, that sounds about right. Oh wow, the up smash trying to call out that quick attack. Nero one step ahead, gonna get the grab punish. Yeah, and really it feels like Nero needs to keep Daybreak off stage as much as possible because while he does have the comparable neutral to Pikachu, his offstage game is so much worse. So if Nero can capitalize that, it'll be so much easier for him in this matchup. As well as Nero looking for the lock a little bit earlier, barely missing the timing. That would have been a dead day, uh, dead Falco. Great Tomahawk again. Nero respecting that jump way too much. And wow. the back air. See you later. Jeez. That is the one thing you've got to respect more than that jump. Because, yeah. I mean, you saw how that killed last game. And once again, Daybreak is so good at just finding those openings for that back air. And it's also one of those moves that you just, like, you know the back air kills that good percentage. But you just don't, it's hard to respect it. Because it comes out, like, frame four. 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 Yep. Yeah, it's so quick. And that's a dead Daybreak. He does yep. not have a jump. Man. He's laughing it off a little bit. Yep. And that Nero needed that. He really, really did. Yeah, because, I mean, Daybreak was only at 86% at that death. And Nero still needed a little bit more to be able to get that kill. So... Definitely a good break here for Nero, so we'll see if he can just bring this back and take advantage of this opening he's got. And you can see Nero playing a little patient, waiting his time, fighting time to find that opening. And he found it, and there's 35% out of nowhere. And Daybreak landing with that down air, uh, definitely going to get him down, but that's something that's not an option you see too often. Yeah, and right now neither of them wanting to overcommit because they've started to realize that Against the opponent, if they give him an opening, they'll combo hard. Like right here, you see Nero trying to set up for some sort of landing bait, but they break out, able to get out of it, but still taking 70, 80, 80 total. Percent. Wow. And that's the one thing, when either of these players get a grab, like uh, Daybreak's got a pretty decent grab game as Falco, mm -hmm. gonna be able to find a lot of those aerial moves that wow. do so much no. damage. No, no, he missed. Oh no. Wow. Out of all the ways to lose. Oh, so Nero going down to the loser's side. Daybreak getting a pretty big upset right there. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I've seen this matchup happen between these two, and it's always close. Like yeah. they're, they're, they play each other a lot.